members and stakeholders residing across the globe. Thank you for joining me at this virtual HFTP annual business meeting. It is a great pleasure to be with you and have all of us gathered together to recognize HFTP and honor several individuals who have stood out by either excelling professionally or as outstanding participants on behalf of HFTP. While this will be an unusual version of the annual business meeting, I think it will be quite memorable. We have a lot of them on our agenda, so let's get started. The success of HFTP comes from the collaboration of its leaders. Today we are here to learn about the association's accomplishments and its initiatives, both current and new. It is the knowledgeable input from the HFTP Global Board of Directors that help make these programs happen. I would now like to introduce the men and women on the 2020 to 2022 HFTP Global Board. You heard right. This group of men and women have agreed to extend their HFTP leadership term by one year. Because of the unique year the association has experienced, it has been determined to postpone the annual election of new HFTP Global Directors and Executive Committee, with the next slate selection scheduled for May of 2022. Remaining with the current group of leaders has allowed for a seamless progression of the association as it recovers from a financially difficult year and works to build back its program offers, offerings. HFTP Global Executive Committee members, Vice President Neil Foster, Treasurer Stephanie Anderson, Secretary Justin Talion, Immediate Past President Michael Levy, the HFTP Global Board of Directors, Director Tony Bow, Director James Benna, Director Carson Booth, Director Kelly Brennan, Director Arthur Berger, Director Jill Burnett, Director Andrew Uwalda, Director Jonathan Goodman, Director Mark Fancourt, Director Eileen Saris, Director Barry Thomas, Director Fitzroy Walker, Director Exficio Frank Wolf. Thanks to each one of you for your dedication to HFTP. Now let's hear greetings from members of our global board. Hello from Seattle. My name is Justin Tyone and I hope everyone is having an amazing day. I'm so excited to be a part of HFTP. Can't wait to see everybody soon. Uh, Orlando, high tech 2022. Let's make it happen better than ever. And I uh, really appreciate everything that everybody is bringing to this organization. Hello from Sarasota, Florida. I'm Eileen Saris, Chief Financial Officer at the Field Club. It's been a great two years so far serving on the Board of Directors for HFTP Global. It was wonderful to see all of our attendees at High Tech and Annual Convention a couple weeks ago in Dallas, and I look forward to seeing you at our future events. Hello, HFTP members. We are so glad you could join us. Like many organizations, HFTP has been greatly impacted economically from the pandemic, and especially consequential was the cancellation of HFTP's in-person events in 2020. Despite this, the board worked hard to maintain the association's viability, and our strategy has served us well. We were able to return in 2021 to in-person meetings in May with the club summit, as well as High Tech Dubai as a part of the hotel show Dubai. Now we are just returning from the successfully co-located in-person events, High Tech Dallas, and the annual convention, plus the club forum. For the coming year, HFTP will continue to remain cautious with a conservative budget, guided by our association's core purpose, and ensuring that crucial membership services continue to be provided. For our physical year that will end on October 31, 2021, HFTP anticipates operational revenues of approximately $4.99 million and operational expenses of approximately $4.68 million. With our realized gain of $127,000 and our unrealized gain on investments of $370,000, this gives us net revenue of approximately $806,000 for the year. The approved budget for 2022 has operational revenues of approximately $5.99 million and operational expenses of approximately $5.68 million. 
for net revenue of approximately $310,000. We look forward to great things in 2022. Thank you. Hi, HFTP members. This is Michael Levy calling in from Amsterdam. How are you all doing? I hope great. HFTP has for sure enriched my career and my knowledge. It's an honor to be serving on the board and to do something back. Please share your knowledge, participate actively to this incredible organization. Hope to see you soon. Best, Michael. Good morning. This is Fitzroy Walker from HFTP Jamaica Chapter. Sending you greetings from our chapter. If you missed us in Dallas this year, we're looking forward to having you at High Tech in Orlando next year. Have a great time, everybody. All the best. Hi, I'm Jill Burnett, CFO at Metalist Golf Club in Hope Sound, Florida. It was so great seeing so many of you at the HFTP Annual Convention and High Tech in Dallas last month. I'm looking forward to in-person chapter meetings, more conferences, networking, and the club summit in San Antonio at the end of March. Good morning. My name is Neil Foster, Global Vice President for HFTP, sharing this morning the global update for the strategic plan. Each year, the HFTP Board of Directors looks at the services and resources provided by the association and determines how we can maintain or build upon them to better serve the needs of today's hospitality environment. While for the last year and a half, we have really had to make hard decisions due to the economic limitations. I am confident that HFTP over the next year will offer its members and the industry with important services to help all of us propel forward professionally. We have all become used to our lives, both professional and personal, straying from the norm. But as we plan for HFTP's 2021-2022 activities and services, the board has gradually returned to the services and benefits you have come to expect from HFTP. In regards to HFTP events, we are planning a full slate of programs in 2022. HFTP will hold its popular club summit in San Antonio, Texas on March 14th to 15th. This is a two-day advanced level event addressing industry strategy, trends and engagement for the club segment. Each year, the attendance for the club segment grows, and I expect it to continue to be one of HFTP's premier events. High Tech North America, celebrating its 50th anniversary, will be held on June 27th to 30th in Orlando, Florida. In addition, High Tech Dubai will be co-located with the Hotel Show Dubai on May 24th to 26th in Dubai, UAE. One program that has grown strong during the pandemic, which was HFTP's virtual education, with several online educational offerings scheduled each month. The program has evolved slightly since those first meetings, but remains an important educational tool that will continue next year. We have multiple iterations, the HFTP Hangouts, the HFTP Europe Hangouts with Euro-focused topics, and the ProLink webinars with a full educational program. All of these are under the banner Virtual Education, which you can attend either live or watch later through the archive catalog for free. Tune in to HFTP News for the schedule as programs are booked. Last, something big that HFTP has to look forward to in 2022 is the release of the 12th edition of the Uniform System of Accounts for the Lodging Industry. Also known as the USALI, the guide's primary purpose is to offer operating statements formatted to provide hotel owners, managers, and other interested parties with operational information pertinent to the lodging industry. In 2018, HFTP acquired the copyright to this widely used reference and soon after coordinated with the Global Finance Committee to begin work on the newest revision. After nearly three years of hard work, the 12th edition will be made available for implementation globally. 
Not only will this provide an essential update for hospitality finance, but it will shine a spotlight on HFTP to the global hospitality community. Thank you for your continued support of our association. I look forward to continuing to serve and lead our association over the next year. It must have been incredibly hard for all of our HFTP chapters to oversee activities during the recent pandemic. And I applaud all of the chapters for those valiant efforts. I'm sure the connections that the chapters brought their members this past year was greatly appreciated. The annual awards for the chapters of the year recognize chapters that further the goals of HFTP by providing quality, educational, and professional opportunities to their members along with a lot of involvement in their local communities. The awards are divided into three categories based on the chapter size plus a student chapter category. So as I call the chapter names, I'd ask that uh, one of the chapter members come up uh, with me on stage and we will get your uh, certificates here. So the winning chapters this year are tier A with one to 35 members, HFTP Greater Milwaukee Chapter. And I don't think they have a representative, so we'll be receiving that for them. But way to go, Milwaukee. Okay. <laughs> Tier B with 36 to 70 members. HFTP Fairfield Westchester County's Chapter. So do I have a rep for that? Very good. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Okay. Thank you you want to stay up here and we'll get a picture of the whole group? Okay. Tier, tier C with 71 plus members, HFTP Mid Florida Chapter. Sir, grab a. <laughs> Very good. Stay up here. I think we got a picture. And last but not least, our student chapter of the year, University of Houston Cougar chapter. <laughs> Congratulations. Can we get a picture of all, all the whole group? Thank you so much. Congratulations. Each one of these chapters did a phenomenal job, and they are excellent. But I hope you can't tell by my shirt that I am very partial to that great chapter in Florida. So I know this is not professional, but go Mid-Florida. <laughs> so. <laughs> so congratulations to each one of them. It's wonderful to see that you continue the vibrancy of your chapters. So we appreciate that. Hey, this is oh. Ryan Pulbermacher, president of the HFTP Greater Milwaukee chapter. Our board is proud and humbled to have received the Chapter of the Year Award. This couldn't have been done without our team and amazing Milwaukee Chapter membership. We hope to continue thriving as a chapter and a big thank you to everyone in our HFTP community. Thank you, everybody. Yay! I think I can easily declare that my term as HFTP Global President has been during one of the most unique periods of our association. What has been incredible is being part of the team that has helped our association build up from one of its lowest positions. 
just having returned from our highly successful, co-located and in-person annual convention and High Tech Dallas, I have no doubt that our association will return to the level of service that it has been known for. Now let's rewind to a year ago when there was still a lot of unknowns, especially whether we could actually return to the in-person networking gatherings that so many of our stakeholders enjoy. Because of this, the HFTP global team maintained a strong virtual education program that has helped our members and stakeholders learn and converse. The offerings have been plentiful, diverse, and informative. Not only are they available live and for free, but past sessions are kept in an archive to accommodate everyone's schedules. The virtual education will continue into next year. In fact, please check the schedule for this month and next when we have encore presentations of the popular sessions from the 2021 High Tech and Annual Convention. In May of 2021, as meetings became viable once again, HFTP hosted its popular club summit in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and the Florida Regional Conference in Bowling Green, Florida, with health safety measures in place. The association also participated in the hotel show Dubai with High Tech Dubai. Now, we have capped our year with the events in Dallas in September, with 4,000 plus attendees and plentiful positive feedback. We are ready to meet again in 2022, so please stay tuned to the HFTP website for event dates. Thanks, Mark. And before I get too far into our new projects that haven't been mentioned yet, I want to take an opportunity to thank the HFTP Board of Directors. This year has been challenging to say the least, and our Board of Directors have really come up and helped the staff, uh, worked with high tech, worked with the annual convention, and uh, did some really amazing things for us. So we really do appreciate uh, them, including the fact that they have agreed to hold their positions for one more year to help us continue our strategic goals uh, and maintain the continuity that we need to maintain uh, after losing a little bit of speed through the COVID nightmare. Uh, I also want to thank the HFTP staff for pulling off what was an incredible year. We managed with half the staff to continue to fulfill all of the commitments that we made to the HFTP membership as well as pull off successful uh, digital high tech, high tech, annual convention, a club forum, club summit, and get us back on our feet where we needed to be, both in terms of industry placement as well as financially. Uh, one new benefit that's coming up that has been placed on hold due to COVID what is our comp benefit study. Uh, that we're doing in conjunction with the Middle East Research Center. Uh, that is going to be coming out and uh, watch for that. Obviously, we cannot do a good comp benefit study without the participation of the members providing the information. Uh, another thing that's uh, pretty exciting for us is that we are completing finally our updates to our website. And uh, next month, we will be having uh, the return of our communities. Many of you have asked for that service to return, and uh, we have been able to do that because we have not been able to upgrade our association management system. However, that has now changed. Uh, we are in the middle of an upgrade, and we do look forward to providing that those communities to the membership very soon. A couple other other things that's uh, very exciting, you may have heard about them earlier in the program, is that uh, sometime this year we will be able to produce the club dictionary, a glossary of terms. Uh, that's a project that has been on hold for quite some time. We hope that uh, it will be a benefit in terms of not only our North American clubs, but also clubs uh, globally. 
you may have looked uh, and seen, I don't know how you could miss it, uh, the successes that we've uh, enjoyed over the last month uh, with our social media campaign, uh, with high tech and annual convention. It seems like that every day there's four or five new posts about our social media projects. Uh, we currently have, I believe, about 12,000 followers now for HFTP throughout the world. So we are massively building up our following in uh, our social media. And uh, finally, for, for uh, uh, new projects, I, I want to uh, send a shout out to uh, all the new chapters and the chapters that are in the process of becoming chapters. You may have seen that we had Mexico City uh, group charter their chapter at High Tech and Annual Convention uh, two weeks ago. Uh, we have a Sonoma Valley chapter that is uh, interested in forming. We have um, the Dominion Republic is looking at uh, forming a new chapter, and it seems like that our chapters are just uh, on the verge of uh, breaking maybe a hundred chapters before the end of next year. So we will keep our fingers crossed with that. And last, certainly not least, I want to thank all the HFTP membership for another year of uh, my leadership for allowing me to lead, allowing me to work with all of you. Um, this is my 31st year, and uh, after all the years that I've been here, this is probably one of the most challenging uh, with COVID and uh, the results of COVID, but uh, it has been a good year. Uh, the association has come out of it strong. Uh, we've learned a lot of lessons. Uh, we've learned um, a lot of things that we will do differently in the future, and we've also had a lot of opportunities. Uh, again, I want to thank the staff and certainly uh, our, our deputy CEO, uh, Thomas Etzenhofer, who has uh, stayed up with me many nights trying to figure out uh, how to make cash flow, how to keep the staff employed, and how to keep the lights on. And uh, we've certainly been able to do that. So thank you to everyone. And uh, I will now turn the program over uh for the next section thank you very much bye-bye hello hftp members andrew bewalda here coming to you virtually from muskoka ontario canada i hope you're all doing well for those of you that were able to attend high tech in the annual convention recently in dallas i am so jealous I missed all of you and cannot wait to see everyone in person in Orlando, Florida in 2022. Thank you for continuing to be a part of HFTP. I am so excited for everything that lies ahead for our organization, and I hope to see you all very soon. Hello, HFTP members from sunny Los Angeles, California. Hope everyone's doing well and just wanted to drop in and say how happy and proud I am to be a part of HFTP and to serve on the board Wishing everyone a prosperous year, a healthy year, and take care. Good morning, everyone. I'm John Goodman, CFO of Lost Tree Country Club in North Palm Beach, Florida. I wanted to welcome everyone and hope they're doing well. And I'm so proud and happy to be a, a member of this great organization, HFTP. Um, I really hope to see everyone soon. I was really glad to see a lot of people at the annual convention. Um, I just want to share how much this organization has meant to me, both personally and uh, professionally. Uh, it has opened doors that never would have been open to me before. Uh, again, thank you so much. I really appreciate everything the organization has done to me and hope again to see you all soon. Thank you very much. It's an honor to receive this award. Uh, the pandemic uh, has definitely been a, a challenging um, event for everyone. Um, I used uh, the time that I had during furlough to sharpen my skills 
And again, I'm very thankful and grateful to receive this award. Thank you very much. Good morning. My name is Adam Bellany, and I am humbled and grateful to have been recognized as HFTP's CHAE of the Year. I want to say thank you to HFTP for this honor and to congratulate the board and the team at HFTP Global for all the great work that went into resuming in-person high-tech and annual convention last month in Dallas. I'm really sad to have missed it, as HFTP means a lot to me both professionally and personally. I want to also say a special thank you to Robin Bogdan. When I first approached Robin about the CHAE program, I was not at all confident about my ability to study for or to pass the exam successfully. But her enthusiasm, encouragement, and support was a really big part of what convinced me to go for it. So thank you, Robin. I encourage anyone who may have considered it, but for whatever reason you've hesitated, you really should give it a try. I'm very proud to have earned the CHAE designation and to represent this association as your CHAE of the year. Thank you. Hello, HFTP members from beautiful Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. It was so great seeing many of you at the past annual convention in high tech. If you miss opportunity, we have many in-person meetings and I hope to get to network and see you soon. Hello and good afternoon. My name is Art Berger and I'm speaking to you from Scottsdale, Arizona. I've been a member of HFTP for over 38 years and I'm currently serving my second term as a global board of director. I want to thank our existing members that have retained your membership throughout these rough last several years and a special welcome to our new members. HFTP is an organization that doesn't exist without the involvement and support of our membership along with our sponsors, vendors, and the amazing HFTP staff in Austin, Texas. Without all of your commitment and loyalty, we all are unable to obtain the true value from this association. Thank you to all of you, and I look forward to working with many of you and working with many of you in the years to come. Have a great day. Welcome to the HFTP Annual Business Meeting from sunny Orlando, Florida. My name is Jim Bina, and I serve on the Global Board of Directors. I look forward to welcoming you all to Orlando for High Tech 2022. Established in 1999, this prestigious HFTP Paragon Award recognizes individuals each year who have made a significant and lasting contribution to both HFTP and the hospitality industry. Paragon Award nominees can be HFTP members, representatives of industry-related associations, societies, or trade publications, leaders from hospitality businesses, education institutes, and other related disciplines. A panel of industry experts selects the award recipients. This year, I am pleased to announce Tanya Venegas and Sonia Nicardi as the 2021 HFTP Paragon Award recipients for their excellent direction of the HFTP Research Centers and their impactful tutelage over hospitality students and HFTP student members. Tanya is Global Head of Customer Success at Hot Stats Incorporated, but had previously served as Director, Executive Director of the HFTP Americas Research Center at the University of Houston from 2002 through 2018. Dr. Sanjay is Director of Innovation and Research at the Emirates Academy of Hospitality Management and oversees the HFTP Middle East Research Center, which was established in 2016. Congratulations to both of you. Now let's hear from our award recipients. Hello everyone. I'm delighted to receive the HFTP Paragon Award for 2021. Uh, this is really both an honor and a humbling uh, experience for me. I really wish I could be there in person, but because of the pandemic situation, I cannot travel to the US. I uh, would like to thank the HFTP community for giving me the opportunity to engage uh, with such a vibrant uh, group of people and I look forward to contributing to the betterment of this industry through research and any other support I can give to HFTP. Thank you. Hello. It 
is a true honor to be one of the 2021 HFTP Paragon Award winners and to join this amazing group of people that have won the award before me, many of whom I have known for many years and have actually mentored me through um, my time in the association. I especially want to thank Dr. Agnes DeFranco for introducing me to HFTP those few years ago. I also want to um, thank those that nominated me and truly appreciate the nomination and supporting the nomination and want to congratulate Dr. Sanjay on winning the award this year as well. Thank you. It's also uh, my privilege uh, to lead us in a long-standing tradition and that since 1989, HFTP has recognized uh, other outstanding individuals uh, who have propelled hospitality technology through their contributions. Uh, they're either through the development or application or uh, uh, in other industry-related areas around hospitality technology. And um, the International Hospitality Hall of Technology Hall of Fame is is our highest uh, level of recognition in this area. Standing here in front of you, I'm very humbled and honored. Over 42 years in the hospitality industry, I've received several awards and accolades. But nothing tops the Paragon Award from HFTP and the induction to the HFTP Technology Hall of Fame. I am credibly blessed and humbled to receive the opportunity to be amongst the who's who of the industry. This would not have been possible without the nomination and a letter of support from Professor Sanjay, Dr. Sanjay Natkarni, Head of Department of Research and Development from the Emirates Academy of Research Hospitality Management in Dubai. The support letters from several industry colleagues with whom I have had the honor of working with for the past several years. Almost 56 of my colleagues wrote these letters of support and I'm humbled for their support and guidance. They wrote letters supporting my nomination to the Hall of Fame and that itself is heartwarming. I just didn't want to name them with the fear of forgetting their names and it would take a long time to name everyone. So I'm sorry, but thank you from the bottom of my heart. My belief is everyone in my, is my teacher. Some I seek, some subconsciously attract. Often I simply learn by observing others. Some may be completely unaware that I'm learning from them, yet I know deeply and I'm gratifying. Allow people to speak and amaze them by your work. Thinking outside the box gives birth to creativity, and one should not be afraid of failing, as through failure, we learn to be successful. And that has happened to me several times, and it has cost me a lot. But through that, I grew. There is nothing impossible I am possible because I am possible. That's in our hands. My accomplishments are based on the habit of being observant and qualities of success are to remain neutral, to remain steadfast, to remain pure. Think outside the box and don't be afraid of failure as failure gives birth to innovation and new creations. Whitney Jones is the CEO of Wall Street Journal Advisors, she says, Embracing failure is one of the hardest things we ask ourselves to do. Intellectually, we know that it often produces the most signifying learning, but failure never feels good. It goes against human nature. I will continue to do what I have done in the past and more for HFTP and the industry, specifically the new generation of hoteliers. I would like to thank the judges, the jury, and the nominating committee for selecting me for this honor. I know it was a tough decision for the judges, 
to pick from the number of ca capable candidates. All those that were nominated are equal winners. Last night, my wife and my life partner, Daksha, surprised me at 11 o'clock and says, I'm in the Uber. And please come down to the lobby to pick me. She was not supposed to be here. My family members were tied up. Some of them are sick, some are taking care of grandkids. But I'm very happy that Daksha was able to make it here. Daksha, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. <laughs> Lastly, I would like to thank my staff members and my family members for their unwavering support and their sacrifices in my personal and professional progress. No words can express my gratitude, especially to Mr. Frank Wolf, who from the very beginning when I joined HFTP, I was an introvert, and he held my hand with Lucinda Hart and said, move on. And he started including me in different committees and made me an extrovert. And that in itself opened the doors for me where I was in a position to learn a lot. I don't have a technology background. My background was finance. And then all the learning started from HFTP high tech events. Congratulations to Mark Haley, my buddy, and all the previous past Hall of Fame inductees who supported me in my career of past 42 years. As RP noted, you don't get to this uh, level of recognition by yourself. There's a lot of other people involved. <laughs> I'd like to first uh, acknowledge uh, some of my clients. Uh, can't name all of them, far too many, but of note, Mandarin Oriental Hotel Group. Many of you know Monica Nurger, Todd Wood, back in the early days, Nick Price. Also Citizen M Hotels, <coughs> Michael Levy, who is here today, Mike Rawson, who could not be, and back in the early days, Nick Price. Maybe there's a theme there? Anyway, thanks, buddy. <coughs> also of note, Davenport Companies, a little different scale than uh, uh, the other two, but a client since uh, 2000, <coughs> uh, the year uh, uh, 2000. Those kinds of long-term relationships are the heart and soul of uh, <coughs> uh, 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 rewarding consulting uh, <coughs> uh, career. Uh, second uh, group to acknowledge would be my colleagues and co-workers from PRISM, Mark Hoare, Tony Del Mastro, Sandra Albert, <coughs> Noah Pavlikovich. Noah, it only took me a couple years to get good at pronouncing your name, just don't ask me to spell it, please. <coughs> also uh, other consulting uh, colleagues, uh, far too many to mention, but uh, certainly have to point out uh, <coughs> uh, Doug Rice and of course John Burns uh, among others. Uh, the next group that is worthy of acknowledge, uh, acknowledgement here often gets short shrift. Uh, whatever success we enjoy as consultants comes in large part because of the engagement and commitment of the vendor partners that we work with. <clears throat> now, I'm definitely not going to try to uh, mention uh, the vendors because I'm going to get in trouble no matter what I do. <clears throat> if I mention somebody, I'll get in trouble from uh, the people that I don't. <clears throat> if I don't mention somebody, I'll get in uh, uh, even more trouble from them. So not going to go there. But I do want to acknowledge and thank and honor the vendors their integrity, and their commitment to making the hotel succeed. Thank you very much, vendors. Now onto the good stuff. High tech, in many ways, has been sort of a family affair for the Haley's. Our high tech family story goes back to uh, 1994. Right here in Dallas, different building, but the uh, same city. Big D, Star City. <clears throat> People were kind of surprised when I showed up at uh, high tech in uh, uh, June of uh, 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 1994, because it was about a week after our daughter Mary had been born. What can I say? I brought pictures. Uh, fast forward 24 years, uh, that same Mary is uh, working uh, for Ritz Carlton and thinking about dipping a toe in uh, hospitality technology. <clears throat> she joined us at uh, High Tech 2018 uh, in Houston. Uh, the kid can work a room. <clears throat> she enjoyed the show, learned a lot, saw a lot, and went back to the Ritz Carlton Bachelor's College. The next year, 2019, we were in Minneapolis. My wife, Julie, uh, came to high tech, uh, not to work the room, not to see the show, but as a speaker. She was here to share her depth and breadth of knowledge and expertise in human capital management in uh, uh, one of the sessions. Uh, I think uh, it was a good experience for her, and it was a great experience for me. Got to show off my wife. So, and then there's uh, son, Brian. He's a high tech rookie. If you run into him on the show floor, take it easy on him. 
you're out of college, he's in the workforce doing well. Brian's in sales. You know how you can tell? He had his first business trip a month ago. It was a golf boondoggle to Milwaukee. The salespeople have all the fun, huh? So one final thought I'd like to leave you with. Uh, freelancing is not for everyone. Sometimes you feel like uh, you're up on a tight wire working without a net. I want you to know that Julie has been and always will be my net. Thank you. That's all I got. Have a great show. I want to thank each one of you for your continued support of HFTP. Without your dedication, we would not be in the strong position we find ourselves in today. Thank you for watching the 2021 Annual Business Meeting. I wish all of you well and look forward to serving as your HFTP Global President for the next year. Thank you.